welcome back for yet another exciting C Sharp web tutorial. In this one, it is part two of Method of Our Madness. In the previous one to this particular web tutorial, you will try to remember, if you could, that we created global variables that could be shared among all the code. Now we're going to write code that can be shared among the project. Let's take a quick look to refresh your memory. It wasn't that long ago, I hope you watched this video. But you declared your variables, you converted them, and you added two numbers in your output. That is in the button add. In the button subtract, you declare your variables, you can convert your variables, and here you subtract instead of add in your output. The only thing that is different is this. And let's go look here. The only difference here is multiply. Wouldn't it be nice if we could share this code throughout? Sharing is good. Think about it this way. You move out of the bedrooms in the previous example, like each of these pieces of code was a bedroom that couldn't see what each other is doing. But if we move the code into a common area of the house, like a family room, everyone can use it. So let's go down below, and you will see outside of any other code, so I'm at the bottom, before these curly braces. So for example, let's go to the bottom of the code. Here's button modules, click. Here's the beginning of the code, and notice Visual Studio will let you know this is the end of the code. So right here, outside of any other code, at the bottom, I created a new one called private void perform calculations string s math operations. What this means, it's private. Only this program can use it, no one else. Void, that means it doesn't return anything, but it's going to do something. The name of the code is perform calculations. And we pass into it a string called smath operations. Notice we declare the variables and we convert. But now we take whatever is passed in, smath operation, which is a string, and if you do a plus, we'll add numbers. If you pass in through this variable right here, a minus will subtract, multiply, divide, and modulus. And then we output it. Now the trick is, let's go up to the add code. We need to call that method. And do you remember the name of it? Well, let's go down and look. It's not that far off. It's called perform calculation, and we have to give it a string letting, us, letting it know what we want to do. So I'm going to come up here. Button add is right here. We're going to change that to call shared method. The name of it is perform calculations, and it needs a string. String is anything that's within quotes or a string variable. So look, we're going to pass it a plus. And in the subtract code, we get rid of all this because we've already done something with it. And we're going to pass it a minus. And in the multiply, you guessed it, we are going to pass it a star or a asterisk. And in the divide, we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to pass it the divide symbol. Oop. Divide within quotes. And in here, we're going to do the modulus, which is the percent. See how our code got a lot smaller? And we can now share the code. There you go. You pass in any one of these values, and it does it. All right, let's put some breakpoints in here to help you fully understand what it's doing. I'm going to put one here in the gutter here. I'm going to put one in the gutter here. How I can make the breakpoints appear is I just put click in this gray area, or I go on the line, and I'm hitting my F9 key, which you can't see me, but you can trust me. I'm doing it. All right, and let's put a breakpoint right here so we can see what happens. I can't wait to show you this code. Okay, let's put in number 15 and number 8. And let's hit plus. So the code comes in here. We're on the button add click. And we're going to call this piece of code we moved down below and shared and passing in a string, which is a plus. If you hover on here, uh, we don't need to hover. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the debug is, how we can watch what's going on into the method. All semester, I've been showing you to hit F10 to step over the code. But when we want to go into the method, we need an F11. So I'm going to hit F11, not an F10. Something new to excite you in addition to this video. So here I am. Now, look, I paused where I was up here in the button add, and control or execution has been transferred to perform calculate. And we do this for shareability. It goes the clear, there goes the convert, and look, we do a plus. This is equal to plus, that's true. 
we add this number to this number, put into the double result, and we put it out to the screen. And I'm going to hit F5 to run. Look, it worked. Not that I doubted myself. Let's do the minus. Notice we call perform calculation, passing in a string, one string. I'm hitting the F11. Look, it's, re it's requiring you to pass a string, so we've met the contract. And step through the code. Notice we're doing a minus. We minus. So we're able to share in one place the variables and the conversion and the output. The only thing I had to code was the if else statement to differentiate what was passed in. There goes that. I hit F5. Beautiful. Let's do multiply. I'm on a roll. I'm going to hit F11, passing in a string. I take it. I convert. I check for star. I multiply. I hit the end of the code and I go back up to where I started from. I'm not hitting F5 now. I'm hitting F11 so you can see that it called the code and it's done. Now I hit F5. Hey, I'm on a roll. Why stop? I'm going to do F11. Declare. Convert. Do the division. I'm out of there. I go back to the button divide. So you control was passed here temporarily. Now I'm back. And of course, last but not least, the modulus. F11, I go into the perform calculation code. Modulus division does that, hits the end of the curly brace and goes back up to where it was called from. And I continue on. Isn't that exciting? So now what we did is we put the code in one place and we call it. Think of this as if you ever been to the campus of STCC, we have a cafeteria in building two. And we have multiple buildings on the campus. We have building 20, building 13, building two. And that's where classes happen. We could have put a cafeteria in each one of those buildings, which would require staffing and equipment and costs. But instead, we put the cafeteria central in building two, which is convenient for me because I'm in building two. And anyone who's in 13 or building 27 has to come out of their building, go to building two to get their food, and then go back to whatever building they came from. So think of the code as the same way. I'm calling this piece of code, kind of like going to building two to get my food. I come down here, do my thing, and when I hit this end curly brace, I go back to where I came from. To stay here. And I'm done. I hope that helped, and I hope you enjoy methods, because we'll be using them quite a bit.